Hi folks, I'm back and we're cutting through the matrix. I should add too that it isn't just a matter of collecting data. Because you see, most folk don't have the memory to remember these things as you tell them. Uh, and people have to be open and actually seeking knowledge before they listen to you. Most folk have already been given their opinions. They've been made to be uh, basically um, skeptics. And the job isn't to go around and convert skeptics. There's no point. They're already conditioned by experts. We've all had the same conditioning process put upon us by education and then the media, a lifetime of media and entertainment. That's all conditioning. And for the ones that you see who can't believe anything, even when you do present them with enough evidence from books and so on, it won't make any difference whatsoever to them. They'll get set back to what's called in in neuroscience as their default positions, the safe positions where they feel better because uh, what you're presenting them with makes them feel unpleasant, unpleasant, unhappy, and they will seek pleasure, and pleasure, the pleasure zone is in the security of their default positions. And I'm not kidding about that. This is a massive science, incredible science. It did, it's not a recent science either. They keep changing the names for the same thing. But um, they've used this for centuries, that these techniques on the general public. So don't think it's just a matter of, here's the evidence, uh, that's, that will speak for itself, and suddenly you'll understand. No, they don't really want to know. In fact, what they want to do is argue with you and bring you back into their reality, where their peer group, who are off, off partying and having doing all that kind of stuff, uh, are quite content because they all believe the same things. You can only put your time out on those who are seriously questioning. And even then, if you're so careful that you don't go off around the galaxy a few times chasing aliens and everything else that's deliberately put out there for you to chase, uh, and you can spend years doing as some do. Some like it, actually, like a hobby. They go off chasing all kinds of aliens and different things. And counterintelligence agencies actually run a lot of these people who are put up there as fronts for that, who always give you fascination. Remember, too, what Weishaupt said, if you want to bring members and recruits into our organization of fraternity, give them a great mystery. That's what encourages people in. Give them a great mystery. Fascination does it every time. 